Hello and happy Friday. We made it. This week has been so awful. Well, it's been okay. It hasn't been great. But work-wise, because I'm coming to you from work, there's been a lot of outages. And there's nothing more awful than that powerless feeling you get when you know exactly how to solve the network problem, but you're calling the help desk, and the help desk exists only to keep you from the network team. So you have to patiently explain to the level one technician how clearing your browser cache is not going to reset a BGP table. I'm sure you know exactly what I mean by that. It is Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. I don't know that song, but it sounds like I do because its words are Friday, Friday, Friday. March 9th. Tonight, the Muskies are going to take on the Lakers. And hopefully by now you've seen a picture of the Target Center where 20,000 white shirts have blanketed every seat in the arena, just about. So even though I'm wearing white, I'll also get another shirt to find a, a way to put underneath this one because somebody's got to represent the Muskies, if not the team themselves. Current time is 526. I'm running late. I should be on my way to the Target Center already because Friday nights are awful for traffic. Current temperature, 33 degrees. Is that right? Phone, what's the temperature? It's 33 degrees. So we had, oh no, it's 34 degrees, even better. That dusting of snow, gone. Sheet of ice, still there. 34 isn't going to melt it away. But... Maybe 60 tomorrow. Probably 60 on Monday. This will be, hopefully, the last day I'm in pants. Look for shorts next week. I know, we're all excited. But that's not bad for Minnesota. Also, we're going to turn our clock ahead one hour because you spring forward. How this will affect meetings in time zones that do not move forward. I never remember. It makes them one hour later, right? Hopefully I don't have too many meetings. They're all in India, so let's see, one hour later, I don't know. I probably won't be showing up one hour earlier, so let's hope it's one hour later. Now, I haven't been on Facebook all day, and I still haven't. Let's see if I can log in while I talk to you. Look at me multitask typing and talking at the same time. Fortunately, not saying anything requiring any thought, so I don't really have to put any effort into it. And I already know nobody's... Uh, uh, no. And no. So nobody said anything about the video on Facebook, which is fine. Although it would help to know you're still watching on Facebook. Phil is, because he occasionally sends me a like, so I know that. And I reckon Cheryl is too. So hello to Phil and Cheryl, and anyone else who happens to be watching. If you're on the Facebook and you subscribe to me, I hope you got to see those really cool Aurora pics from uh, Iceland. I did not see any Northern Lights last night. I think I'm too far south. Also, I didn't actually go out and look. <laughs> Full disclosure. So I kind of resigned myself to the fact that I wasn't going to get to see any spectacular northern lights. Unlike those lucky people in Iceland and Finland and very far north. Probably some Canadians too. So let's find the actual comments. There are some on the W. And I know I have to handle them. So, let me handle my business. You just sit there while I click. Don't go anywhere. All right. Aaron didn't quite discount the possibility of leaving a video, but he mostly indicated he was too lazy to try it. He said, I have a camera on the iPad and on the iMac, but I'm not sure how to use it to record to YouTube. It's probably quite easy. It's incredibly easy. There's a button. You press the button and magic happens. The only reason I can't do it here is because there's a firewall preventing me from getting on that port that YouTube likes to use. 
So I have, I have to record them separately and then upload them separately, which means when I'm dying to leave, I'm still sitting here watching an indicator bar slowly fill up to 99% and then stay there. I have a camera on my laptop at home as well, but I wouldn't do these from home. The angle would be all wrong because it's part of the laptop. I have a separate camera here, so it's a lot easier to just, you know, move around and stuff. But on the laptop, it'd probably all look like that. So I'd have to get, you know, down here. And that's not happening, so. Greg asks, Greg says, don't underestimate your audience. Sorry. I've actually watched all the videos as I've been something of a completist. Always been something of a completist. You are something of an OCD person. I empathize. I have OCD myself. Be sure to read my DVD post late tonight. I try to watch them the following morning. Sometimes my job gets in the way. I have to watch two or three in a row. You poor man. There's got to be something more entertaining than watching me, right? Am I underestimating you again? Or am I underestimating myself? A lot of underestimation going on. You can't overestimate the amount of underestimation I'm capable of. I'm sure there are more of us completists out here watching too. I think all of you who are watching probably all suffer from the same. I must watch every episode disease that uh, I seem to collect that type of people. Draw them to me. Come to me. Jeb asks, what format do you listen to music on? Most of all, internet, radio, CD, MP3 player, etc. It's a tie between the iPod in the car and on the computer here at work. I don't listen to CDs anymore at all. CDs are good for putting into the computer and ripping to MP3 for later playback on the computer. That said, I, I do still buy CDs. In fact, I bought one this week, and it arrived. It was a ZTT compilation, The Art of the 12-Inch Part 2. And I had to have it because I had Part 1, and I'm a completist. Do you listen to any of the records that you have? Alas, the records are still in boxes and have been in boxes since 2004 and need to be unpacked, but I have not built a case to put them in yet. So they stay in boxes, and it's very depressing. I need to just get it done. Go to Ikea, buy some of those perfect size for holding records, even though they're not meant to hold that much weight. Reinforce them. Get it done. I'm going to do it tomorrow. No, I'm not. Tomorrow I'm going to gather my tax information. And I really am because I can't stall anymore. Because my accountant is going to start calling me. And by accountant, I mean close personal friend from high school who still lets me give him money to do taxes. He's probably the only person on this planet who knows how much I actually make because even I don't pay attention. Think about that. That's it. That's all I got. So... Go Wolves, beat the Lakers. About time. We're due for one, right? Pekovic is in, Berea is out. Malcolm Lee has been called up. Will he play? No. But he's there if we need him. I will try to get one good picture of the wideout. Because you will probably not see it on television. Because the nationally televised game is tomorrow, for some reason, against the Hornets. Saturday on NBA TV, 8 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. With all my commercials out of the way, let's do one more commercial. Visit CRZ.net for anything and everything to do with me that I'm bothering to log. We're coming up. In fact, did we pass it? The one-year anniversary of the latest iteration of CRZ.net. And we did pass it. It was the fifth, and I did nothing to commemorate it. So this weekend, I'll probably drop some stats as a way of procrastinating doing my tax information. Look forward to that. Look forward to coming back Monday when we will start this all over again. God willing. My name is Christopher Robin Zerman, but you can call me CRZ. I love you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.